World Health Organization has declared a global public health emergency following an outbreak of a new strain of the Mpox virus in Africa. एक बीमारी जिसने कई देशों के साथ साथ विश्व स्वास्थ्य संगठन यानी WHO के माथे पर चिंता की लकीरें ला दी हैं, वो है मंकी पॉक्स वायरस. Africa's top public health agency has declared an Mpox emergency as a new variant moves across Democratic Republic of Congo's borders. In the early months of 2024, a silent and deadly force began its relentless march across the world. What was once a localized health crisis has now evolved into a global emergency. The Mpox virus, a name that was once confined to the pages of obscure medical journals, is now on the lips of every world leader, every healthcare worker, and every concerned citizen. Last week, I announced that I was convening an emergency committee under the international health regulations to evaluate the upsurge of Mpox in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and other countries in Africa. Today, the emergency committee met and advised me that in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. On August 14, 2024, the World Health Organization issued a dire warning. Dr. Ted Ross, the WHO Director General, announced that Mpox A virus previously limited to one country in Central Africa had mutated into a new, more virulent strain. This new variant, far more powerful and contagious than its predecessor, has begun to spread rapidly. Reaching 116 countries in a matter of months, what started as a mysterious illness in the remote jungles of the Democratic Republic of Congo has now crossed borders and oceans, threatening to become the next global pandemic. The Mpox virus, once a rare and contained disease, has transformed into a highly infectious and deadly pathogen, with the potential to wreak havoc on a scale not seen since the early days of COVID-19. This new strain of Mpox is unlike anything the world has faced before. It is seven times more lethal than COVID-19, and its ability to spread rapidly has overwhelmed healthcare systems from Sweden to Saudi Arabia, from the Philippines to India. The virus has already claimed thousands of lives, and the numbers are rising at an alarming rate. As the world scrambles to contain this invisible enemy, questions loom large. How did Mpox, once a minor threat, evolve into a global crisis? How prepared are we to fight this new pandemic? And most importantly, can we prevent history from repeating itself? This is the story of a virus that could change the course of history. This is the story of Mpox. The year was 1958. In a quiet laboratory in Denmark, a group of scientists was conducting routine tests on a batch of monkeys imported from Singapore. These macaque monkeys were part of an experiment aimed at developing a polio vaccine. But what these scientists would soon discover was something far more sinister, something that would change the course of medical history. One of the monkeys began to exhibit unusual symptoms, high fever, Severe muscle pain and strange pustule-like lesions on its skin. Concerned, the scientists decided to investigate further. They took samples of the lesions and conducted a series of tests, expecting to find a known virus, perhaps a strain of Pox virus or another common pathogen. To their surprise, the tests revealed something entirely new. The virus they had discovered was unlike any other they had encountered before. It was a pox virus, yes, but with unique characteristics that set it apart. It was identified as a member of the orthopox virus genus, the same family that includes smallpox and cowpox, but it was distinct enough to warrant a new name. Thus, the monkey pox virus, short for MPOX, was born, named after its initial discovery in monkeys. 
Initially, the virus was thought to be of little concern to humans. After all, it was confined to monkeys, and there were no recorded cases of human infection. The scientists studied it, cataloged it, and then moved on, considering it an interesting but ultimately insignificant finding. But as history would later show, this was a grave underestimation of the virus's potential. Fast forward to 1970, deep in the jungles of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Here, far from the laboratories of Europe, a nine-year-old boy from a remote tribal community became the first known human victim of the MPOX virus. His tribe lived in close contact with wildlife, including monkeys, which were likely the source of the infection. The virus, having mutated to cross species barriers, found a new host in humans. The boy's symptoms were severe and swift high fever, muscle pain, and the characteristic skin lesions. His case was the first of what would soon become a series of human infections as the virus began to spread within the DRC. The close-knit nature of the tribal communities, coupled with the lack of medical infrastructure, allowed the virus to move from person to person with little resistance. As more cases emerged, it became clear that this was not an isolated incident. The virus was capable of human-to-human -human transmission, and it wasn't long before it started to spread to neighboring areas. The DRC, with its vast rainforests and limited access to healthcare, became the epicenter of the first major human outbreak of the Ampox virus. From here, the virus began to divide into two distinct clades, the Central African clade, which remained within the DRC, and the West African clade, which spread to other parts of Africa. The Central African clade, also known as clade I, was the more virulent of the two, causing severe symptoms and a higher mortality rate. The West African class, or clade II, while still dangerous, tended to cause milder symptoms and was less deadly. Over the next few decades, these two clades would cause periodic outbreaks in Africa, each time reminding the world of the latent threat posed by the MPOX virus. Despite these outbreaks, the virus remained largely contained within Africa. The rest of the world viewed it as a regional problem, far removed from the global stage. But the Ampox virus was quietly biding its time, evolving and adapting, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. What began as a localized health issue in the heart of Africa would eventually become a global menace, challenging the world in ways that few could have predicted. As the 21st century dawned, the stage was set for the MPOX virus to make its move, and humanity would soon realize that it was far from prepared. कोरोना महामारी से अब तक दुनिया पूरी तरह उबरी भी नहीं कि एक नए वायरस ने डरा दिया है, जिसका नाम है मंकी पॉक्स। मंकी पॉक्स इस एक रेयर डिजीज़ प्रोडोमिनेंटली फ़ाउंड इन वेस्टर्न और सेंट्रल अफ्रीका, बट कैन अकेज़नली बी फ़ाउंड इंटरनेशनली। हेलो, वेलकम टू बीबीसी वर्ल्ड � the year 2022 marked a significant chapter in the saga of the Ampox virus, as the world witnessed its first major outbreak outside Africa. This outbreak, while less severe than previous instances, set the stage for the challenges we face today. As we delve into the details, it becomes clear that even a weaker variant can have lasting impacts on public health and global preparedness. In 2022, the Ampox virus emerged in several countries, leading to over 100,000 reported cases worldwide, with the majority concentrated in Africa. The West African class was responsible for most infections, leading to a relatively lower case fatality rate of about 1. However, this did not diminish the alarm it raised globally. With new variants arising, public health systems were put on high alert. In response to the outbreak, the World Health Organization WHO convened emergency meetings and implemented travel restrictions, particularly focusing on regions with high infection rates. 
countries ramped up their surveillance systems, aiming to contain the spread of the virus. Vaccination campaigns were initiated in at-risk populations, though access to vaccines remained uneven. While the West African variant was less virulent, it was crucial to understand that it was still a formidable opponent. The virus was constantly evolving, and the genetic mutations observed during this period hinted at its potential to become more dangerous. This evolution laid the groundwork for what would come in 2024. I can only endorse what has already been said about this issue, that uh, it's very um, important to recognize both who is affected in an outbreak, what types of settings in which people can be exposed, the time frames in which they're exposed, how long it takes to recognize an infection. Uh, these are all critical factors. And whereas monkeypox uh, is manifesting in new ways, it's showing new signs, new symptoms in many people. It's, it's showing less severe illness, but there are also cases uh, who are becoming uh, very ill or suffering extreme pain. In 2024, the Ampox virus emerged as a global crisis, igniting fears reminiscent of the COVID-19 pandemic. The new strain, far more lethal than its 2022 predecessor, quickly became a pressing public health concern, spreading rapidly from the Democratic Republic of Congo to 116 countries worldwide. The 2024 variant of the Ampox virus differs significantly from the 2022 strain, while the 2022 outbreak was characterized by a lower case fatality rate of around 1, the new strain has a staggering case fatality rate of approximately 10. This alarming statistic indicates that 1 in 10 individuals infected with the 2024 variant may succumb to the virus. The 2024 strain has evolved with a unique set of mutations that enhance its virulence. Studies reveal that this variant has developed mechanisms to evade the human immune response more effectively, making it particularly dangerous for individuals who previously fought off the weaker variant in 2022. Notably, the new strain is also more infectious, spreading via both respiratory droplets and contact with contaminated surfaces. Its ability to survive on surfaces for extended periods makes it a formidable adversary in public spaces, contributing to its rapid transmission across borders. The outbreak began in mid-2024, when the first cases of the new strain were reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo. By July, health authorities were alarmed as cases began to surge. Within weeks, the virus had spread to neighboring countries, with cases appearing in Uganda, Rwanda, and Tanzania. By August, the virus had reached Europe, making its way to Sweden and other countries. Within a month, cases were reported in Saudi Arabia and the Philippines, raising the total number of affected nations to 116. This rapid escalation prompted widespread panic and heightened awareness of the potential for a global pandemic. As countries scrambled to respond, the situation became increasingly dire. Airports became hotspots for potential outbreaks, and health officials were deployed to screen travelers. The interconnectedness of our world became evident as the virus exploited global travel networks to establish footholds in new regions. In response to the burgeoning crisis, governments around the world implemented a range of measures to contain the spread of the virus. Many countries reinstated travel restrictions and mandated quarantines for incoming travelers from affected regions. Enhanced testing and contact tracing efforts were prioritized. Countries across the globe adopted various strategies to combat the crisis. The United States, for instance, ramped up its vaccination efforts, distributing doses of the MBABN vaccine to vulnerable populations. Meanwhile, the European Union coordinated with member states to ensure equitable access to vaccines and treatment. However, disparities in vaccine access persisted, particularly in low-income countries. 
The WHO emphasized the need for global solidarity to ensure that vaccines reached those most in need. Without a unified response, the risk of the virus continuing to spread remained high. As the Ampox virus continued to spread, the disparities in healthcare systems became increasingly apparent. Nations with robust public health infrastructure were better equipped to handle the crisis, while others struggled to cope with the rising number of cases. We first put this into context. So what you'll see here are two maps. On the right-hand side are the numbers of countries that have reported Mpox cases since the beginning of 2022. And on the left-hand side, you will see the countries that have reported just in the month of July alone. So while we had a public health emergency of international concern in 2022 and 2023, largely led by this clade 2 uh, virus, uh, that was brought under control with concerted community action and a number of different interventions. But the virus continues to spread. In light of the ongoing crisis, many communities came together to support one another. Grassroots organizations mobilized to provide resources, information, and support to those affected by the virus. International collaborations also emerged, with countries sharing knowledge and resources to combat the outbreak. To understand the Ampox virus, we must first delve into its intricate structure and how it infects humans. The Ampox virus is an enveloped virus, characterized by its lipid membrane derived from the host cell. This envelope is embedded with glycoproteins that play a crucial role in the virus's ability to infect host cells. Upon entering the human body, the virus attaches to the surface of cells in the respiratory system or skin using these glycoproteins, which bind to specific receptors on the host cells. Once attached, the virus penetrates the cell membrane, releasing its genetic material into the host cell. The virus then hijacks the cellular machinery to replicate itself, producing thousands of new viral particles that burst from the cell, ready to infect neighboring cells. This viral life cycle is essential to understanding how infections spread within the body. The incubation period, the time between infection and the appearance of symptoms can vary widely, often lasting from a few days to several weeks. During this time, the virus replicates, increasing its presence without alerting the immune system. As the virus multiplies, it may undergo mutations, which are changes in its genetic material. These mutations can be caused by various factors, including replication errors or environmental pressures. The ability of the virus to mutate is a significant concern, as it can lead to variants that may evade the immune response generated by previous infections or vaccinations. Understanding the concept of viral mutation is vital in predicting how a virus like Ampox may adapt over time. Some mutations can be harmless, while others may enhance the virus's virulence or transmissibility. The emergence of new variants can pose significant challenges to public health efforts, as we have seen with the Ampox virus in 2024. The tipping point for a virus to reach pandemic levels often involves several factors. Firstly, the virus must be capable of efficient human-to-human -human transmission. The Ampox virus demonstrated this capacity during its outbreaks, rapidly spreading across populations. Secondly, the virus must have the ability to infect a significant portion of the population, creating a reservoir for further transmission. Moreover, global interconnectedness plays a crucial role. With modern travel and trade, a virus can quickly cross borders, facilitating its spread from local outbreaks to global pandemics. This interconnectedness underscores the importance of international cooperation in disease surveillance and response. Research into antiviral treatments and vaccines is essential in combating the Ampox virus. Scientists are focusing on developing therapies that target specific stages of the viral life cycle, potentially disrupting replication and reducing the severity of infections. Vaccination remains one of the most effective strategies to prevent outbreaks and protect vulnerable populations.
As the mpox virus continues to pose a significant threat to global health, the race for an effective vaccine has become a paramount priority. Vaccine development is a complex and rigorous process, but efforts have accelerated dramatically since the emergence of the 2024 outbreak. Currently, several candidates are in various stages of clinical trials, while some vaccines have already been authorized for emergency use. The most promising vaccines currently available include the MPOX-1, MPOX-2, and MPOX-3, each utilizing different technologies such as mRNA, viral vector, and inactivated virus approaches. Initial studies have shown that these vaccines provide varying degrees of efficacy against the MPOX virus, with effectiveness rates ranging from 70 to 90 in preventing symptomatic infections. Preliminary data indicate that the MPOX-1 vaccine offers about 85 efficacy against severe disease, while the MPOX-2 vaccine, developed using a viral vector platform, boasts a 90 effectiveness rate in preventing hospitalization. The MPOX-3 vaccine, which uses an inactivated virus approach, has shown around 70 efficacy but has the advantage of easier storage and transport, making it suitable for use in resource-limited settings. Despite these advancements, the global disparity in vaccine distribution remains a significant concern. Wealthy nations have secured large quantities of vaccines, often pre-ordering doses long before clinical trials were complete. This has resulted in a scenario where developed countries have vaccinated a substantial portion of their populations, while many developing nations face shortages and delays. In many low-income countries, access to vaccines is limited due to financial constraints and logistical challenges. The World Health Organization WHO and other global health bodies have been advocating for equitable distribution, emphasizing that a global health crisis requires a global solution. Initiatives like COVAX aim to provide vaccines to low- and middle-income countries, but the progress has been slow, leaving many vulnerable populations at risk. The disparities in vaccine access raise ethical concerns, as millions in developing nations remain unvaccinated while wealthy populations are receiving booster shots. The longer the virus circulates in under-vaccinated regions, the greater the risk of new variants emerging which could undermine the effectiveness of existing vaccines. As the world grapples with the ongoing crisis posed by the Ampox virus, experts predict that the outbreak's evolution will depend on several factors, including vaccination rates, public health measures, and the virus's ability to mutate. Epidemiologists emphasize that while the current strain is more lethal than its predecessors, it is also essential to consider that viruses tend to evolve over time. Some may become less virulent as they spread, aiming for coexistence with their hosts rather than outright destruction. The next phase of the MPOX outbreak will likely see a combination of outbreaks and localized spikes in cases. Areas with high vaccination rates may experience milder impacts, while regions with low vaccination coverage could face significant challenges. Experts also warn that the potential for new variants remains a significant concern. Just as the Delta and Omicron variants emerged during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Mpox virus could give rise to new strains that may evade existing vaccines or therapies. Vigilance in monitoring viral mutations and ensuring widespread vaccination will be crucial in mitigating these risks. Drawing lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic, public health authorities are more prepared to respond to emerging threats. The experience of COVID-19 highlighted the importance of rapid testing, contact tracing, and the implementation of non-pharmaceutical interventions, such as mask wearing and social distancing. Countries are now more aware of the need for timely communication and transparency in sharing information about outbreaks. Furthermore, the pandemic underscored the necessity of global cooperation. As the world becomes more interconnected, a virus can swiftly cross borders, emphasizing that no nation is safe until all nations are safe. Collaborative efforts, such as sharing data, resources, and vaccines, are vital in addressing global health threats effectively. 
As we reflect on the journey through the MPOX outbreak, we are reminded of the resilience of the human spirit. The visuals of healthcare heroes tirelessly working to save lives stand in stark contrast to the somber images of loss and uncertainty we've faced. This duality encapsulates our current reality, a reality that compels us to act with urgency and compassion. While we find ourselves navigating the challenges presented by the Mpox virus, it is crucial to recognize that we possess the tools to mitigate its impact. Vaccination remains our strongest defense, empowering us to protect not only ourselves but also our loved ones and communities. As individuals, our choices matter the simple act of getting vaccinated can save lives. Moreover, we must remember that the fight against Mpox is not just a medical battle, it is a humanitarian effort. Supporting one another in our communities, checking in on those who may be vulnerable, and promoting mental well-being are essential components of our response. Together, we can create a network of support that helps us weather this storm. As we move forward, let us not forget the lessons learned from past pandemics. We are stronger when we work together, united by a common purpose. The global community must remain vigilant, sharing resources, knowledge, and vaccines to ensure that no one is left behind. Every effort counts in our quest to end this outbreak and prevent future pandemics.